coming off of their victory against Team Liquid. Uh, by this point, everybody should know the process, but in case if you've been missing, please use the Zoom hand raise feature if you'd like to ask a question, and then we will call on you. Um, would anyone like to go first? Let's start with Brian Bencomo from Nerd Street Gamers. This question is for Ye. Um, I wanted to know, um, so I heard that Vanessa said on broadcast that it made him angry to hear the crowd in favor of TL. Um, so I wanted to know how you felt about it and how do you feel about finally beating an EMEA team? Uh, I mean, for me, <laughs> I, I was just locked in. <laughs> I wasn't really like paying attention to the crowd. I could hear them occasionally during like the tech bosses and stuff like that. For the, but for the most part, I was just, I was just in the game and I, I wasn't really like paying attention to it, but uh, I can see it from like Afanessa's standpoint because uh, usually we don't have like a lot of fans that root for us and it's a little sad. <laughs> so I'm hoping that changes as time goes on and we can maybe make some new fans. Thanks. Are there any other questions for Optic Gaming? Looks like we're going to Kobe from Upcomer. Congrats on the win, guys. Question for chat. Uh, do you think Ye is the best player in the world? And if not, or if he's up there in the conversation, how do you think that gets solidified in the future? Um, I definitely think he's the best because he gets a lot of first picks for us and he listens to our game plan very well. So without like his like fragging ability and then just like listening, then we wouldn't be where we are now. Thank you. Uh, let's go to Alec from VLR. Hi, hi guys. A uh, question for FNS. Um, in a moment, like in that last map where you have a big, very big lead, but Team Liquid are slowly coming back in the map, what do you tell your team to make sure you can close it out? Uh, I don't have to tell them much. We've always we've been in that situation a lot, and we don't we don't normally have problems closing games. We kind of knew we just had to get a few rounds together. I mean, we only had two rounds to win, so obviously we weren't underestimating what they were doing. But I'd made a I'd made like a really big mistake, and so I was kind of down on myself. So I don't really say anything to anybody. I just <clears throat> played, and then everybody else was just playing, and then. Uh, fortunately for me, I had a specter round where I spam scream through the smoke and then I killed two more in sight and that kind of think brought me back personally, mentally. This next question is for Victor. Um, the first two maps didn't see opening duels go in your favor, but Ascent saw a 4-0 ratio in first kills and first deaths. What kind of adjustments were made as the series progressed to see things calm down and help you win those openers? Uh, not too sure. Uh... I think it's a little easier on the last map because I play KO and it's easier to control the flashes myself. So I know exactly when I want the flash and how I want it. So that might be a factor, but uh, I'm not too sure. I think on the first maps, I was just playing mostly to get traded. Not going to lie. And that one was from Brandon, Brandon from Run It Back. We're going to go next to Sons of KS Latam from the chat. Uh, for those who want to answer, there's the possibility of playing loud once again. Would it be more comfortable for you to face them again, or do you prefer DRX? It's never comfortable playing any of these teams. Uh, it would be nice to play either of them. But yeah, I think I'd want DRX just because of how many times we've played loud. Um, but yeah, that's mainly the reason. I don't think either team has like any... Like, I don't have anything bad to say about either of the teams, but it's definitely not comfortable playing either of them. We'll go next to Rohan from esports.gg. Hi, guys. Congrats on your win. Uh, I know FNS and Ye have already spoken about the crowd, uh, but I want to hear from Marv and Victor how much of an impact uh, did the crowd today have on your performance? Um, wouldn't say it affects me too much, but it's definitely great to see. I was getting into it because um, maybe we kind of like when the crowd is against us, so we have something to prove. And I think when we have something to prove, we definitely try harder. So uh, definitely helped us in that aspect. But other than that, um, we just kept to our game plan and just played the game. Uh, yeah, what he said. But there were some like towards the later end of the game, there were some optic cheers that might have made us happy a little. <laughs> uh, we'll go to Brian from Nerd Street next. This question is for finesse. Um, I saw Ye tweet out that Crashes was dealing with some food poisoning. Um, so I just wanted to know how he's doing now and kind of what are your thoughts on him gutting it out on stage and still performing well despite the circumstances? Uh, he's a trooper. I mean, I had the exact same thing he had like two days ago uh, and it was rough. So I know exactly what he's playing with, but I didn't have to play a match doing it. So 
definitely a trooper. I respect him a lot for putting the performance that he put up. He was still calming really, really well. He was still destroying players and, you know, just controlling rounds just like he normally does. So it didn't even feel like he had that, you know, there was times where he would say something about it, but it was very, very rare. And we kind of knew the situation he was under. So we knew what the rest of us had to step up. Uh, Chet, this next one is for you. Uh, this was Optic's first time going against Scream and his Phoenix. If you're able to speak on it at all, but kind of what kind of preparations and counters did you guys have in place knowing that Phoenix was probably coming? And this is from Brandon at Run It Back. Um, during our boot camp, we scrimmed Liquid a lot. So we had a pretty good idea of his Phoenix. Um, and they had a pretty good idea of our play style as well. So not too many things caught us off guard besides maybe some fast paced strats from Cat, like on Ascent. Um, but overall, we kind of knew where to expect his flashes and like where his walls were going to be. So it was it was just OK. It was like uh, we just expected most of the things that he did. Um, this is from Wanzi at One Esports. For anyone who wants to answer, congrats on beating an EMEA team. Would you say your earlier boot camp in Poland played a decisive role in the victory? Um, I think our boot camp helped us figure out Pearl mainly in the boot camp. Uh, I wouldn't say like it helped us exactly with EMEA teams, but maybe a little bit. Just mainly helped with our old map pool, if anything. Thank you. Uh, are there any questions from the room? Awesome. Optic, congratulations on your victory. Thank you. match against optic gaming please use the zoom hand raise function if you'd like to ask a question and then we will call on you we'll begin with kobe from upcomer hi guys um tough loss question for emil um you guys obviously had the crowd behind you the entire match and you seem to be playing up playing it up uh specifically so uh what was that like uh i mean the crowd was amazing i feel a little bit sad that I let them down because all the energy they gave me and the team uh, was absolutely crucial uh, because we had such slow starts. Um, you could hear them share uh, every single round. So, uh, yeah, it feels really, really good. But I hope next time uh, we make them proud instead of losing. Thank you. Thanks. We'll go next to Alec from VLR. Hey, guys. Unfortunate loss today. Uh, I want to talk about your very good start on Breeze. You came out the gate immediately. You had a 9-1 lead at some point, at one point. Uh, so how were you able to shut them down early in the match? And what did they do to adjust to that later in the match? Uh, should I go for this? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think Breeze, we just we just had like a really good start. Like we could feel the crowd and there was like this energy that you it just came out of nowhere and it kind of just fueled us. Um, and yeah, like we're hitting shots, we're confident, like the comms open were good. Um, I think, uh, yeah, we just had like a really good start. Like it's easy to snowball in this game, especially on LAN. Um, so we kind of started snowballing them on, on Breeze. Um, but then when it went to the other maps, it was kind of, it kind of came back at us with the, with the snowball. Like they got zero five, uh, they got a five zero start, we lost pistol. Um, and I think, yeah, it's like these momentum kind of swings kind of can, can hit you hard, but uh, I think they adjusted very well, and so did we towards the end of the first half of uh, Bind. But then, yeah, last map was a bit, it was a bit. <laughs> uh, we'll go next to Kobe from Upcomer. Uh, another question for Soulcast. Um, do you guys think that uh, Ye is the best player in the world? And as a short follow up to that, is it at all different playing against a team with uh, a player of his caliber? It can definitely make um, playing against someone like that very hard because um, you have to be careful about uh, not kind of just over peaking and giving them free kills. Because especially online, it's very easy to like hit shots the way he hits shots and like the way he he plays the game. Um, and it definitely makes the game very hard. I'd definitely say he's up there for one of the best uh, players in the world. After Yumpy. That's why I said one of the best. <laughs> Thank you. We'll go next to Sons of KS. Thank you very much, and I'm sorry for your loss. 
for those who want to answer. Now they are going to uh, the long way looking at the possible routes. Who, do, who are the opponents who they like to face off against in low bracket? Um, I mean, I can answer who I want to play. I want to play FPX, obviously. <laughs> uh, if it's possible, please make it happen somehow. Um, for me, uh, yeah, I want to beat my brother uh, and win. Um, I don't know about someone else here or something. Um, I feel like everyone is in the same page. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> I, I mean, I would love to take revenge against Aviathan, but uh, does really, it does really matter to me, mm. honestly. Everyone. Everyone. Thank you. Are there any more questions for Team Liquid? Uh, are there any questions from Team Liquid from the room? Yeah, this question is for Solkas. Hey guys, uh, uh, yeah. uh, but from uh, Player Bros, top class today. Uh, my question is about Istanbul. Uh, you answered uh, the question about crowd, but I'm wondering what do you think about the city, Istanbul? So far, super nice. I've been, I've been seeing some some other stuff outside from the hotel where we are. It's really beautiful and really nice people. So I really like it. I think especially for me and my brother, uh, like Turkey really suits us, like in terms of culture and everything else. It's a really beautiful country for everybody and especially for me and my brother. So yeah, we really love Istanbul. Out of Shija. Thank you. Uh, are there any more questions for Team Liquid? Thanks. This will conclude the first press conference of the match. Team Liquid, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us.